Girawai the Goanna. Back in the old days, when the Goannas ruled the River Rena, there was no Murrumbidgee River. The land was dry and the animals were dying of thirst. The only animals that were nourished and healthy were the Goannas. All the other animals were suffering and beginning to question whether the Goannas had a secret water supply. The Goanna wives were embarrassed and angry with their husbands and shared what little water they had. They pleaded with their husbands to share their water and let all the animals know where the hidden water was located. The Goanna wives knew the water supply was hidden away in the mountain ranges but couldn't track their husbands because of the stony surface. They decided the only way they were ever going to discover the water source was if one of the wives stayed overnight on the mountain range. Some of the women refused to go because they believed the evil spirits would capture them. One brave young Gawana wife volunteered to venture into the mountains to find the water supply and save all the animals. The young Gawana wife bravely set out with her possum cloak, water and food. There she sat on the mountain top and awoke to find herself surrounded by a group of little men. They were Takonis, warrior helpers. The elder of the group told her not to fear as they were there to lead her to the secret water supply. She followed with haste and once at the water reservoir she drank until she could not drink no more. She asked the elder how could she get all the water to the thirsty creatures. He told her that she must first return to the camp and tell her sisters to go into the hills in the south. Once she had done this, she was to return to the mountains for further instructions. The younger Wana wife led her sisters into the hills to safety. After this, she returned to the Taconis in the mountains and they told her to force her yam stick deep into the side of the mountain and to flee for her life. The young Gawana wife drove the yam stick in with all her might. She then turned and ran as fast as her feet could take her. Behind her, she heard a great roar of water. The young Gawana wife joined her sisters just as the great flow of water made its way to the valley, joining the Murray. The water formed the Murrumbidgee River. When the Gowana men returned, they found their camps had been destroyed by the river of water. The Gowana wives have disappeared. Eventually, they noticed their wives in the foothills and cooed to their wives, who then came to the opposite bank. The wives refused to join their husbands as they wanted to punish them for their selfishness and decided never to be their wives again. Later, the wives turned into teals and flew away down the river into the swamps where they live today.